everybody and happy Halloween and I wanted to do a Halloween themed video with you guys uh, without being too scary of course and I got some of these like Funko Pops mini pops of course and I haven't really had a chance to review them just because I feel like it wasn't really fitting in the flow but since it is Halloween and I really love horror movies I figure why not share it with you guys and I've been wanting to take them out of the box so it's a perfect time to do it so I got these from Hot Topic uh, if you guys aren't familiar, but Pops do actually make little ones too, and these are actually normally, these tiny ones are in keychain form, but then they also have these collector boxes that come normally three to a box, and they do different ones like Princesses, and I've seen the Frozen series, but when I saw this, I freaked out, because <laughs> it has some of my favorite horror movie characters in it. I love Ghostface, Scream is one of my favorite movies. I love it to this day, and when I saw this, I just had to get it. I got this from Hot Topic, and it was $18.50, so it's a little bit more than some other locations, but uh, Hot Topic tends to do a BOGO sale all the time, so it's worth it. And then I also got Friday the 13th, and then I also got uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, if you guys know if they make a Halloween miniature, let me know. In representation of that, I'm wearing my Halloween t-shirt with Mike Myers on it, just because he didn't have a mini pop, or he does, and I just can't find it. <laughs> One of the two. So this was $18.50 and these little guys are only $6.50 which I feel like really worth it. And what a, another thing here, I'll take them out of the box as I'm talking. One thing I like about these little ones a lot is that you can actually unscrew the top if you don't want to use them as a keychain and then make it just a regular figure. Like these right here, I'll have Chase open that behind camera so I can talk and do it at the same time. Very talented here. Talented crew we have. Um, I don't like them as a keychain because then they get messed up and dirty. So what I like doing is unscrewing the top and I'll show you guys what I do to them. You know, a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Well, I like them as just little cute figures. I don't like them too much as, um, like I said, a keychain form. So what I do is unscrew them. I've experimented with this before, of course. And I, add, I want to add them into my dollhouse as like little pops for my dolls. See? So it was a keychain, you can still leave it as a keychain if you want, but all it has is a little hole drilled on the top to allow the uh, keyring to go into. But see, I just like them as like pops for a dollhouse. I feel like for, especially for an 18 inch doll, a, you know, obviously like size ratio to them. This is not a bad, okay, this one doesn't want to open. This isn't like a bad little accessory for a dollhouse. Now, um, this particular one is Jason from Friday 13th and he is a Hot Topic exclusive. And he actually, I think, glows in the dark his face. I don't know for sure. I don't want to turn the lights out and test it since it is technically after midnight. So it is Halloween right now. And I don't want to test turning the lights off. But let me unscrew this one too to show you guys. These are like really super detailed and super cute for this size. So let me unscrew this. Did you guys hear a loud noise? I heard a loud noise in the house. I think someone's home. Hi Desmond! Everyone say hashtag hi Desmond because he's currently in my kitchen right now. <laughs> so let's show off these little figures. We're gonna start off with Chucky, if you guys aren't familiar. All these movies have come out within the past 25 to 30 years. I'm trying to think back which one was the oldest one. If you guys know the oldest one, comment below. I appreciate it. But this one's gonna be Chucky and he's so cute. Oh, as I drop. Sorry Ghostface. But I like how he has little scars on his face, so he isn't from the first series, because the first movie he didn't get his scars. I think he got his scars in the second film in Child's Play, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Does it say on the box? Probably not. Desmond! Hold well, on, I'm gonna call my Google, which is Desmond. What? Here. Question for Desmond. Let's see if Desmond knows. Bum bum bum. Uh, what Chucky movie did Chucky get his scars on his face? As he thinks about that, I will review Ghostface, who's my favorite. And I know uh, Jason Robert Keefe actually posted this on his Instagram that he has it on his key ring, so... Hi! <laughs> I'm a big fan of Scream too. I just like how the knife has blood on it. I'm like, okay, detail. Awesome job. Really cute. I just like his little face. And I actually have most of these in large form. Well, actually, no, I have to take it back. I don't. I only have him in large form. Him and Pinhead. They need to make a Pinhead in these little tiny ones. Okay, he doesn't want to stand. And then this is Jigsaw from the Saw movies. Really creepy. Love him. I like his little detail of his hair. And then these two, like I said, were keychain form and I took them off. I just like his little, like the detailing of the skin. They're trying to give him burnt skin. Like, okay, that's adorable. Look at his little claw. Look at that baby claw on there. So cute. 
And then this one, like I said, should be glow in the dark. I love the blood splatter. I like how they didn't just leave it flat. But look at his little eye. Like, these are so detailed. And look at a little strap on his face for the mask. Again, if you guys haven't seen these movies and you are under the age of, what is it, 18? Because I think most of them are rated R or 17. Please ask your parents. <laughs> I don't want you to go watch these without their permission. All right, back to Desmond. Do you remember when he... Because I know in the first film he didn't have the scars. I'm trying to think if it was... Maybe the third one. Was it the third one? Maybe. Because wasn't he trying to, um, like, merge into a human body in the third one, I think? Um, oh, like, go backwards? Yeah. Because I know, like, in Bride of Chucky, Tiffany pieced him back together. Yeah. And I know he had the scars at that point. But this one, he has Myers... I want to say this is Child's Play too. I'm trying to think back. If you guys know which Chucky this one particular one is, which I want to say is the second one. I don't know. Comment below. So what do you guys think of these mini pops? Are you guys collectors of the minis versus the large ones? Obviously, if you guys watch all of our other videos, especially Chase's videos on the Toy Circle, you're going to know that we collect a lot of pops. <laughs> Thank you. I know it's crazy, but we love it. Um, I love the mini ones, though, because like I said, I can use them in dollhouses and you can use them for a lot of other things. So happy Halloween, everybody. Chase is telling me to wrap it up because you know me. I like talking to you guys. And comment below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And check out all of our social media and Chase's channel as well. Happy Halloween, you guys. Don't eat too much candy. Bye.